In this video, we will look at the properties of addition. So which property of addition is shown? So unfortunately, there's no foolproof way to remember all the properties. You just kind of have to um, think of little hints and tricks to do so. So which of these, which is this property? Three plus zero equals three. Well, I know that this one is the identity property, but the way that I would remember this is that the number that you're adding to zero gets to keep its identity, okay? So three plus zero still equals three. Any number plus zero still equals that number, so it gets to keep its identity. So that's how I remember the identity property. The sum of any number and zero is the original number, okay? So it keeps its original identity. So three plus zero equals three. That's our identity property. Which property of addition is shown, okay? So three plus zero equals three. That three gets to keep its identity, so we're going to go ahead and pick identity. Which property of addition is shown? One plus zero equals one. So I know that the sum of any number and zero being the original number is the identity property. Okay, which property of addition is shown? four plus zero equals four. So if I was wondering which one it was, or I was going in order, I would look at the commutative property. When two numbers are added, the sum is the same regardless of the order of the numbers. Okay, so it doesn't really show us anything about that here, okay? So that's that more I relate to commuting, okay? Because you can move the number and it'd be the same. That's not what it's talking about here, so again, four plus zero, the four keeps its, its identity, so it's going to be the identity property. All right, which property of addition is shown? Two plus three plus four in parentheses equals two plus three in parentheses plus four. All right, so that one is going to be your associative property, and that's because when three or more numbers are added together, like in this particular problem, the sum is going to be the same no matter how you group the numbers, okay? So in both, on both sides of the equation, our numbers are two, three, and four, two, three, and four, but in, on this side, the three and four are in parentheses, and on this side, the two and three are in parentheses, but our answer is going to be the same no matter what. We could prove that by saying, okay, so this is seven, two plus seven equals nine. Okay, this one is five plus four equals nine. Okay, so to, rem to remember that, I like to think of associating it together, associate, um, with a group of people, you're you're associating with the same people, okay? So no matter how you associate these numbers together, you're going to get the same answer, okay? So this is our associative property. All right, which property of addition is shown? So we have one plus two plus three. So for, we'd have to do parentheses first, all right? So this one is five plus one equals six. 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 3 equals 6. Okay, so we have 1, 2, and 3 on this side. We have 1, 2, and 3 on this side. But grouped here, we have 2 and 3 and 1 and 2. So it groups the numbers differently, but it has the same answer. So it would be the associative property because, again, no matter how you associate these three numbers together, if you add them, you are going to get the same answer. Okay, let's look at this. So five plus two is seven plus one equals eight. One plus five is six plus two equals eight. So again, no matter how you associate these three numbers, they are going to equal eight. So it's the associative property. Okay, so two, five, and one, two, five, and one, but they're grouped differently. Five plus one is six plus two is eight. Two plus five is seven plus one is eight. This is the associative property again. And you could also remember the associative property is three or more numbers getting added together. All right, I already can look at this and say it's the associative property. All right, so this is a new one. 
So three plus one equals one plus three. Okay, so three plus one is four, one plus three is four. So this one is the commut commutative property. Okay, and the way that I like to remember that is because I know that when two numbers are added, the sum is going to be the same no matter what the order of the add-ins are, okay? So no matter if I do three plus one or one plus three, my answer is going to be four. So no matter where these numbers commute to, they are it's going to have the same answer. So it's the commutative property. All right, now we're looking at this one again. So nine plus zero equals nine. Looking at this, any number that you add to zero stays the original number or gets to keep its identity. So this is our identity property. Okay, four plus zero equals four. Four keeps its identity, making it the identity property. Again, nine plus zero equals nine, it keeps its identity. All right, so for this one, eight plus, well, one plus two is three, plus eight is 11, eight plus one is nine, plus two is 11. So no matter the way you group these numbers or associate them, the number is the same. So this is the associative property. Okay, and the same thing goes for these. So seven and one is eight, plus three is 11, Seven and three is 10 plus one is 11. So no matter how you associate these three numbers, if you're adding them together, it is going to be 11 and that's the associative property. All right, three plus eight is equal to eight plus three. So no matter where these numbers commute to, no matter what the order of these two numbers when you're adding them together or any add-ins, it's going to be the same sum, okay? So no matter where they commute to, it's the same, so that is your commutative property. Okay, two plus nine is equal to nine plus two. So again, when two numbers are added, the sum is going to be the same no matter the order of the numbers, okay? No matter where these numbers commute to, the, the answer is going to be the same. So that would be your commutative property.